All right, guys. So I want to start the detailing series on this GLK, but the sun's going down. I don't have a ton of time. This is the first day that I've had it. So I'm going to clean the wheels because they're just a disaster. Um, I've got four different wheel cleaners here. So that's the Furies by Phoenix EOD, which I've already tested when I did the full line. This is Sidero by Labra Cosmetica. Uh, this one is Sonex Full Effect. And this one is Breakbuster, which is kind of like my old standard. So I figure we'll do these one at a time. We'll test out each of these products and we'll see how they do. So let me grab my pressure washer. All right. So the two least bad wheels are the rears, uh, which is normal. Most of the braking power comes from the front. So the Furies and Breakbuster we're using on the rears and the two new products we're going to use on the front. So spray this off first. Really not much difference. Put this on spray. And like I said on the original video, really the negative with Phoenix COD are these sprayers. The sprayers are not as good as the products in the bottles, in my experience. And you end up with like this heavy on this left side on almost every single one of them. So, anyway, let's just see how, how good can we get them with like one quick pass. And eventually, we're probably going to do wheels and tires on this car, but even if not, we'll eventually take them off and we'll do like a, an armor wheel coating or something along those lines. I'm using this easy detail brush, um, not because it's my favorite, it honestly isn't, uh, but mostly because it doesn't hold a lot of product in it. So I didn't want to be unfair with a microfiber madness brush and end up like, you know, having Sidero do a great job on the wheel that Sonex is next to or something like that. This thing is it's just okay. So, spray this off. So, not a bad job. Let's try out Sidero. That's the way. So, I'm using Sidero with no dilution uh, because it says for wheels, use full strength. So this is definitely thicker, stickier. So Sidero is definitely thicker, the sprayer is fantastic, you can see the stuff coming off of it, it's also all over my camera, but uh, look at the spray here, how it's like a 
25 degree stream like that's that's just that's exactly what I'm looking for with Say what you want about Labo Cosmetica, they've got their chemical game on. More of an old school wheel cleaner, right? It's been around for a long time. Uh, their bottle has a similar sprayer. I like the stop that's on it. So it's like a quarter turn, but it locks into the off position. It's kind of cool. You know me, always like what's different. like coming out of the sprayer all over my hand so that's cool the sprayer works well good spray pattern but weak Industry 1000 sprayer. You could also use the MTM foam cannon. I often use that for this. And this is Breakbuster one to one with water. A Breakbuster does not have an iron remover in it, so that's why it's not turning purple like some of the others. So four wheel cleaners, four different brands, four clean wheels. For me, every single one of these worked. Um, the iron remover properties that are in the Sidero, the Furies, and the Sonex Full Effect, that's definitely a benefit, um, especially when you're cleaning a really messy tire. I will say that it does like, you get black crap all over yourself, especially when you're using one of those um, easy detail brushes, uh, just the, the, the bristles that are kind of stiff like fling it at you when they come through the tight spokes um, so it's just something to like be used to or understand uh, it is one of the reasons i like the barrel blade better that does that a lot less um, it's still not impervious to it but i didn't want to use a microfiber based wheel brush for this particular video because uh because it, it would have loaded up on the first wheel and then it really would have been fair for everybody so these three wheel cleaners from three completely different companies all perform very well. Um, I would say my favorite is Sidero, just uh, in, in the usage perspective. Um, the Sonex, uh, Sonex we'll talk about first. Um, I like the bottle design. I like that it's, you know, it's different. Um, it's got this spinning top, which again is different. Um, it comes locked with the top on it, not with a blank, which is kind of nice, like it's ready to use. Um, I found that the as I was spraying it, I ended up with crap all over my hands, like the actual wheel cleaner all over my hands, and I don't like having chemicals all over my hands, so that's a detractor for me. The spray pattern on the sprayer was actually pretty good. It was kind of like a, maybe a 45 degree um, span, very consistent left to right, uh, very usable. Um, there is only one option on this, which is spray. So you've got off, spray, or spray. Um, whether you turn left or right, you end up with spray on either side. It comes out clear, does turn that iron color relatively thin compared to a lot of the other wheel cleaners. So that means you kind of have to work the top first because it's going to run down, uh, but it did a good job. And um, I will say I ended up with a little bit left behind, like in between the spokes and in those corners that I kind of had to come around and hit them a second time with my uh, wheel brush or my fingers and just work that a little bit and then it came off. So it seems like the agitation is working more than the um, chemical is, you know, in, in getting the, the, the dirt and grime off. Next, the Furies. Uh, so I talked about the Furies when I did the Phoenix EOD video uh, washing the car. And the, the Furies works really well. Uh, again, iron-based wheel cleaner. It's, again, um, a thinner liquid. 
Um, the real detractor here is the sprayer. Uh, the sprayer is very heavy on the left and not very heavy on the right. Um, it's, it's a pretty wide spray. Uh, so you end up with like kind of overspray on your wheels and not really getting it into the areas that you want to when you're spraying a wheel cleaner. The sprayers were fine for most of the products, like the Phoenix EOD line as a whole, uh, but for the wheel cleaner specifically, I'd rather put a better sprayer on that, and I think that that would help quite a bit. Um, again, it was very effective, minimal agitation, did a good job. I did a rear wheel on this, so it's not exactly a fair comparison between that and the Sidero, but I felt like they did a similar job, or, or the Furies and the Sonex Full Effect, I felt like did a similar job. Um, both of them left a little bit behind in the corners. I had to hit a couple spots second time, but um, overall, good experience. Um, both of these are run straight or undiluted. Uh, neither one of these tells you that you can dilute them. So that means that um, from a cost perspective, they're, they're not going to be the most um, cost effective. Well, you can buy la larger quantities. So, you know, if you buy a gallon, you can typically save money. Any iron breaker wheel cleaner is probably going to be around the same cost in general. Uh, Sidero, though, um, I believe that Sidero wins the day. Um, the, right from the very beginning, the sprayer is awesome. Uh, it's got great spray pattern, great tightness. It's like a 25 degree or 30 degree spray. So it gets in that wheel, um, inside the spokes, and, and really spreads out, and you end up with a more direct spray. Um, it's a thicker product, so it clings to the wheel a little bit more. Uh, so when it, you spray the top, it's still there, it's still clung. Um, you can see how quickly it changed color, like it really turned purple very fast and it was a very dark shade of purple, like it was really, really working compared to the Sonex on the other side. That did turn purple, but you know, just not quite the same way. Um, so I would say of these, this is probably my favorite. Now, what I would tr probably try to do is dilute this. Um, so it specifically says on it, and thanks to its high concentration, this product is very versatile and economical, can be diluted up to a max of one to four. Uh, for heavy contamination on cars that have been parked next to railways or rust stains or on the cleaning of rims, use undiluted. So I used it undiluted because it says that for rims. So I would probably, as a follow-up, try diluting this. And that's probably what I'll do. Probably a quarter of the way empty. These are all about a quarter of the way empty. So, um, you know, I would try diluting that like one to one or maybe one to four and see how it does. Um, obviously that's going to reduce its cling, which is kind of one of the nice things about it, but that sprayer is really great. Um, I think that it did an excellent job. That's all I have for today. So next time uh, on the Mercedes-Benz, we'll be giving it a wash. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna use. Maybe this Vizzer shower, sour shampoo and the all round. We'll be doing a wash. Um, today's, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Eva's birthday. So uh, Saturday, we'll wash that. We'll um, start working on getting it cleaned up and uh, then we'll figure out what we're gonna do for paint correction and what we're gonna do for uh, ceramic coating and you know working on some of the other things there. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I think this will be a fun series and we'll get to kind of go through a bunch of different products together. Uh, the car is very heavily contaminated. Uh, I, can, I can feel crunchiness all over it. I can feel iron all over it. I've got a dozen different iron removers over there that we can try out and see how they are and um, can really get through some, some product testing um, during this video. And then um, one of the things I'm really excited about is the steering wheel is super shiny in this and I have lithium cubes and I've seen Pan use lithium cubes before on his channel and I'm thinking that they can restore the steering wheel. So I'm interested to try that too. Thank you for watching and have a great day.